A very warm welcome to you wherever you are watching from around the world to beautiful Hangzhou, the sporting city that is also the venue for the biggest badminton tournament of the season. It is, of course, the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. Badminton's best from all around the world. Top eight players in men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles and mixed doubles have gathered right here at the Hangzhou Olympic Sports Center Gymnasium. It is day two of the competition, and that means there is a very set theme, consolidation or elimination. It's as simple as that. Had a great turnout yesterday, had some great results on day one as well. And we've got some great matches for you, and that's what it's all about. The HSBC BWF World Tour Finals Trophy. It has been on show at every one of the 30 events leading up to this season finale. But this week, those players that have qualified, and have been invited to the season finale, might just get their hands on it this coming Sunday. And that's the schedule for the tournament. Day one to three, as I said, it's day two. Well, uh, two sessions, one at 10 a.m. and one at 5 p.m. Day four, that's Saturday. We'll see the semi-finals kicking off at 10 a.m. And then, of course, the finals itself on Sunday. That will be starting at 2 p.m. Technical officials and umpires making their way out to this wonderful arena. 80,000 capacity here at the Hangzhou Olympic Sports Center Gymnasium. I'm sure it's going to be full to the rafters this Sunday for the finals. Two courts in action, of course. as the technical officials take their positions. What an important day it is for these pairs and players. They know how important day two is in this group stage format. Top two, of course, from each of the groups qualifying for the semi-finals on Saturday.
Alfian and Ardianto make their way out. Former number ones, of course, back in December of 2022, in fact. off their campaign with a good win against their compatriots, Victory and Maulana, 21-14, 21-19, and here come their opponents. They've been on a red-hot streak, Astrup and Rasmussen, over the last few months. Picked up three titles, Arctic Open, the Hong Kong Open, and the Canada Open, so pretty much since September, they've been on fire. Of course, Alfin and Ardianto, semi-finalists at the World Tour Finals last year. Astrup and Rasmussen finished third in their group in the last edition. So ready for the coin toss here. Looking at the head-to-head, 4-1 is the lead. That's Astrid from Russ Wilson last time they met at the French Open. And that was actually won by Astrid from Russ Wilson, 21-18, 21-15. Simon Ramanfong. Right, what a match we have in store. Explosive. And it's going to be interesting to see if... Alfie and Adianto can match the physicality of Astrup and Rasmussen. Good pair now. Ten finalists at the Denmark Open, uh, the Japan Open. They were runner-up at the Career Open. And they, of course, won the Malaysian Open right at the start of the year. 28 years old, Paja Alfian, born in Bandung, Indonesia. Beautiful place, currently ranked fifth has been as high as one, as I said, back in 2022. This is his partner. And in all honesty, there's his 27-year-old partner from Buntal, Indonesia. And they have dropped down in the rankings. They have had a couple of injuries to deal with over the year, just minor niggling things that really uh, drop their performance a couple of tournaments their opponents as I said probably one of the most informed men's doubles pairings of the last three or four months they've always of course been threat but they really have picked up their game in the last few months 31 years old Kim Astrup and in Herning in Denmark There with Anders right now. Also plays mixed doubles with Lena Kausfeld, Kim Astrup. And there's his big power hitting partner. Silver medalist at the World Championships recently. From turf. Ready years to play. old. Anders Scarcross Wilson. Three. They've also performed well at the Thomas Cup in 2016-2018 for medals there. European Games, gold medalist this year. Yeah. And it's been a fruitful time for them. Like I said, Arctic Open, Hong Kong Open, Canada Open, the winners, semi-finalists in Denmark, and also title in French, French Open as well. There is Simon Alman Fung from Hong Kong. He's our umpire, and he is joined by Lee Chuan He, the service judge chair, and about ready to get underway now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Anstrom and Adam Tan Lackerson, Zeta. And on my left, Baga Afyan and Mohammed Nian Adyan, Indonesia. Kim Anstrom served to Mohammed Nian Adyan. Love all, black. So here we go. Uh, hey. And as I said, in this Group B encounter, what's really important in terms of the table is games against, because only one pair haven't dropped a game yet, and that is Alfian and Ardianto. And that, Seven by that over. very nature, puts one them on top of the group. Left. So ideally, they could come through with a win now in two games, then that would really consolidate their position at the top and put them in a really good stead. Kang Min Hyuk, as I said, and Seo Sung Jae picked up their first win just today. If they win again in their final match, then things could get a bit dicey in the middle of that table. Two left. If you are wondering uh, as to what happens if any of these pairs are tied on exactly the same games and exactly the same points, well, of course, there is a tie-breaking mechanism. And as you can imagine, it follows the game difference, first of all. And if that is uh, well, undefining, shall we say, then it's the point difference. And if it's points and games exactly the same, which is, of course, highly unlikely, then the drawing of lots, if three or more players are still tied. Service over. I don't think One, that's happened three. in any of the five editions. I might be wrong. Aye. Aye. But with three of these pairs on one point Five. right now, Seven. that's what I meant about consolidation oh. or Four. elimination. Two, three. Now looking at these opening points, Alfin Ardianto, 3-2 up. Serious over. Four, two. Six, seven. Service over. Three, five. Good start, nothing really developed in terms of rallies. I think Ardianto will be happy with that scoreline. Oh, that's a nice shot there, by Service Alfian. over. Six, three. Careful, constructed play by the Indonesians. 
Worthy of this lead. Sorry, Rasmussen Very cold. Will just not be denied. Four, seven. Eleven. Was one on Eleven. one there. Play. Twelve, seven. That starts off our longest rally Five. tally at fifty shots. Four, seven. There's still no real. And sting in any of these rallies. As I said, a lot more careful. Service over. Just out. Service over. Eight four. Service over. Thirty eight. Service over. Five, eight. Sails wide. Service over. Nine. It's a hard fought one for. Hard fought win, I should say, for Cap Askrup and Russ Wilson in their first game against the world champions, Kamin Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. Six, eight. 21-10, 15 21 24-22, that was. It's a great win, but they did drop that game. That might be what they're trying to overturn here. Good, solid, straight games win. Ideal. Well left. Service over. Had a couple of looks Nine, at it. Getting into these plays. Good movement from both pairs. Service over. Master comes Seven, forward. Nine. Just kills all the pace off that. down. It's 
as we approach the first Seven, mid game interval. Play. Service over. Ten. Seven. Quick exchange there. Alfie and Arlianto on the brink. Bunched up Alfie and Arianto. Now they settled into their rhythm. Big shot coming in from Alfie. 11 8 at the break. Så bliver nødt til at rykke frem og holde af, og så komme op og dække noget. Fordi så er de ligger og skubber forbi. Så skubber vi forbi, så hælder vi den op igen. Og så bare længere frem på tærdebollen. Og så de ligger ind der. Så bliver forår i forhånden, skal jeg flyve i. Selv nogle hjørner engang med. Hvad? Ja, for det er som, at vi bare står og venter ned, så fætter forbi, så gør vi ikke noget ved det. De spiller, hvor vi gerne vil have dem, så går bare langsomt i stængerne. Kom nu her. So here we go, second phase of game one. Nice return. Anticipated it well. Nine, Defense by Alfie Arianto. Dames looking to pressure that point. Ah, oh, just that last shot. Too much for Astrup. Nine on serve. Oh, what a great oh, shot that was from Alfian. Oh. Well, that dictated that rally. That cross court. 49. So flush to the net. Set them up nicely to take control of that. Credit to Rasmussen actually for getting down very low to get that. Oh, 
Okay. Ten points keep Nine. falling. Out. Service over. 10, 15. Bit short on that. But they've got a good buffer in this first game. one of the trademarks of their partnership power and accuracy See both pairs now 11, getting stuck in. I don't think I've ever seen two pairs so cautious at the beginning of this game. Now beginning to open up. 11 16. Nicely. Service over. Alfian. 17 11. It's very handy around the net. Just jumps up, pops it down, very steep angle. Rasmus could do except defend. Alfie and Ardiento in that point just picking their spot really. And that came up too high. Sent back down. <laughs> oh, what a shot from Alfie. He's been Nine, absolutely eight, on 11. fire. Open face just sends it the other way. It's too low for service over. Oh, Nineteen. Service over. Two. Eight. Service over. Easy shot. So eight game points. Game points. Wow. They've looked very comfortable. Three, Again, that's the shot. That yeah. little cross court. Very flat, sets up the lift. And the power comes down, so 21-12. And this is what I meant about games being conceded, because Alfin Ardiento still haven't dropped a game yet this week. Means they've just further reinforced their top spot. Lige så vel som hvis vi laver en dip, så skal vi vinde noget med den og rykke på den. Lige nu der spiller vi bare totalt alle bivalg og skyder oh, yeah. over med kæmpe og spiller hårdt og står stille. Ja, jeg er ved at gå, at vi går ret meget op. Ja, men, men... Fordi vi spiller med hovedet under armen. Ja, men... Det er der slet ikke det, vi skal. Men nu så lave nogle aftaler, inden vi stiller os op, hvor vi gerne vil have det næste hen, og så rykke på tingene. 
og få noget gejst på og støtte ja. hinanden her. Ja. Vi spiller ikke sammen noget. Nej, det er fandme vigtigt, at vi spiller sammen. Og så tager man noget ansvar selv og stiller sig op og saver, får noget eksekveret noget ordentligt saver på et fortalt, hvad man dækker. Det er rock og vigtigt det her nu, dreng. Ikke? Kom så. So back on court for game two. And as I was saying, Arab Balfin and Ardianto still haven't dropped a game yet this week. Now Astrup and Russ Wilson have dropped a second. Second game. So they did drop one before. Oh. That was against Han Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. So now we need to come through. We need to take this to three. Oh. Oh. Service over. One last. We need to win it. Oh, look Service over, over to the service One judge. <laughs> Master but a big smile as well. Have a look at this. He did well to get it. I think his contention was that Alfian would have broken the plane of the nets, but umpire Simon Al said no. It's gone long. Two, one. It's a great angle. Alfian again. Four, one. short we have had a couple Service of over. services Two, that haven't gone their way a good chance for Astrup and Russ Wilson now has been as good as their attack. It's proved here. Oh, that's out. And that really sums up what the Danish pair have had to deal with. Great attack, but also defense from the Indonesians that just keeps giving back. 5-2. So much call to aim at, you knew it was coming. Six. Ardianto this time with the kill shot.
six, T. Light. Eleven, seven, play. It's a tricky surf, but set that off. And challenge it's coming. Backpusen challenges called out. The Danes have the driftier side of the court. And there's been a lot of shots that have gone long on that baseline. They'll be lucky this time. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. And out. Challenge unsuccessful. A fair One margin. Remaining. What can they do to break down Seven, two. this Play. great output from former world number ones? Okay. Oh, what an angle. What a shot. Unbelievable. Really is impeccable point from Alfie and Ardianto. Just can't break through. Also during that point, Alfie and Ardianto so well placed that even when Astrid and Russ Wilson were looking to hit it down the flanks, he still managed to get a racket to it. Pressuring and that could be a point for challenge being called. That's the first shot that really got through. And it is in. Not so. Challenge. Nicely played by Key Master. One challenge remains. Service over. There's that easy kill. They just can't lift it. Service over. Strip and Rasmussen. Nine, three. Well, again, it's that transition, the instinctive defense, and jumping on anything that is high enough. Look at that. That's the kind of instinctive defense I was talking about. Win. 
approaching the second mid-game interval. Out. Service over. Full ten. Service over. Had to try something. 11 four. So 11 four at the second break, and things looking increasingly tough for the days. So back on court for second part of game two. Eleven four. Play. It's a very important passage of play for Astrup and Rasmussen. Oh, wonderful shot. Serving over. Five. Eleven. In. Six. Rasmussen. First time Alfin Arianto really caught flat, as you can see how flat they are in the middle, middle of uh, mid court. Haven't left spaces like that so far. Steep angle in. 12, 7. They get the service back. That was a useful service for the Danes. Wonderful switch up by Cardiando. Defense, if not the kneeling defense from Astro. He immediately became the Seven. target. Arianto haven't even needed to fire any body shots because they've been so good at court coverage 
15-7. Service might be Zero back with the Danes now, but they're still in very good position. Change at the back. It's going wide. Unbelievable how flat that was, Service that exchange over. from 16, nine. service to the end. Just millimeters over the net. Yeah. Oh, just wide. Service over. 10, 16. As we've seen over the last five editions, two wins is your standard requirement out of the three games that you play in the group stage. to make the semi-finals and up in Ardianto well on course for that. Oh. It's just Father wide. Out. Might be edge of the line. Stretch. No, absolutely no way. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Important serve by Astrup and Rasmussen. 16. Play. Pressure from Asprup and Rasmussen. They did well there. The Danes kept moving forward. Danish defense as well. Service over. 17 13. Well, Ardianto. 
again in that point, just really using their angles, switching the point of attack from left to right. Especially had absolutely no time to react. Nice little in the back defense from Astro. Service judge Sven Seren, Belgium. to rally. Someone's going to have to take control here. Oh, that's a great shot. Now they're moving forward. Gone long. They lasted out the pressure. Some wonderful shots in 15, there. 19. Guessing that's probably the longest rally that we've seen so far. <laughs> and indeed it is. 72 Fair shots. Football. Well, what a story it would be if Astrid from Rasmussen could close up these four points, snatch this second game. Sixteen. They'll take 19. it. Fault. That's a costly one. Service so, four 20, match points. Alfin and Ardianto looking for a perfect record so far on day one and day two. Oh. Wonderful oh. coverage by Ardianto. That's out. Service over. 17, 20. No mistakes allowed for the Danes. Two match points saved. 18-20. Ardianto just telling his partner to keep his composure. Oh. That's out. So they've done it. Straight and games win. Well, challenge coming in, but Kim Astrup has already conceded. They're going to have a look anyway. Last chance. That's out. 
challenge and successful. So 21-12, 21-18, 44 minutes. And Alfie and Ardianto are through. No games dropped. Top of the group. And as long as they don't, well, even, even if they do fall in their last game against Hangui Nuka Xiaoxing Jay, they're still through. But Astrup and Rasmussen, well, they're going to need Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae to lose that match tomorrow against Alfie and Ardianto because a win for them will make it a little bit complicated in the middle. Of course, Fikri and Marlana already out with two losses. So, really, their only threat now for Astrup and Rasmussen is Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. But Alfie and Ardianto, they can breathe a sigh of relief. It's been perfect from them in Group B. This confirmation of it, 21-12, 21-18. Alfin Ardianto get that consolidating second win and in some style. Coming up next, it's the men's singles. And two players looking for their second wins. Shi Yu Chi taking on Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Don't go anywhere. So, continuing on here at Court 2 in this evening session on day two, men's singles from Group A, Shiyuchi taking on Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. 